I learned how to 3D model in three days. This is just way too difficult for me. How do people do this for a living? My goal is to make a full model that's usable in games, renders, and animations in just three days. There are just way too many setbacks. But that's not gonna stop me. Start! So, day one. Okay, on day one, we want to make the unrigged, untextured model. And also get used to using Blender again, because it has been a while. Did I mention we're using Blender? Yep, yep, yep. We're doing it in Blender, okay? So how do you 3D model? Uh, pretty bold of you to ask a person who just started, but uh, you have this cube that's made of vertices. These vertices are connected by edges, and these vertices also make faces. You take those vertices and edges and you move them, scale them, extrude them and split them to make a model. With this you can pretty much create anything simple. Like a banana. You always create the things you most desire. And this banana is looking too well adjusted. Let's make a monkey so he can truly feel fear. So to make a monkey we extrude, we split and we make this monkey with a mirror modifier so it doesn't look fucking crooked. And voila! A monkey esque looking shape thing. I mean, for a first, it's all right. <laughs> of course, I made it sound like I knew what I was doing from the get-go, but it had a lot of... What the fuck? <laughs> and this goes here and up. Oh, it's all fucked. It's all fucked. On the way. But hey, hey, sometimes it's not about the journey, it's about the destination. Or something like that. Even if the destination is ugly and unlovable. And as you might have noticed, it has textures, Qu question mark. And no, if you're asking, I did not make all of these faces myself. I'm part of the Blender Wizard Money Gang, we love subdividing. So I did subdivide this model, and that's how you get a smooth look, easy money. I don't know if pros use this, help. Uh, uh, hey, monkey, pose. And so he did pose, as best as he could. Don't blame the monkey, I'm the person who didn't rig him. The rigging is on day three, so... <laughs> Hold your nut sacks and don't bust mine. And on day one, I was still out for blood. Nay, out for details. So I wanted to create a... Human! Of course the end model is not gonna be a realistic human. But I wanted to take this opportunity to do some sculpting. Sculpting is... sculpting. And it's fun! You just take a brush and you brush it around, you delete mass, you create mass, and then you can make all these shapes with different brushes. So it's 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 actually fun! Oh my god! I'm having fun, what the fuck? Some people use it a lot, but I don't, but it's easy to make a realistic human with sculpting more than just extruding, scaling. Yeah, yeah, alright. So to have something to sculpt on, I made this human-esque shape. Then I subdivided it and... So let's get sculpting! Let's add some veins so it can bleed! Yeah, veins! Let's add veins! Yeah! I love the dick veins that go to your penis that all ripped guys have! Ah, it's so good! The dick veins! Yeah, penis! Penis veins! Uh... No, we're not gonna add those. But I did make it have a huge ass and tits! Oh my god! What can a man do about his desires? And anyway, it's like, overwatch porn models probably have the best best pay in the business, can you really blame me? I actually like how it looked. Like, look at this, it's pretty good. But uh, in the final model, I should probably pay attention to how a human actually looked. Because for this one, I just went with my favorite source. Uh, making shit up. <laughs> That's a nice haul for the first day. We made two models, I'm proud. <gasps> we made more, oh my god, a 2D and 3D mix mock-up of a game. That's fucking awesome. I made these sprites, I made this snow, and I made this road-looking thing. And even that's in quotes, because... Oh, fucking no, it's that a road. But learning's learning, and I like doing these small little objects. It's so fun to just create something out of nothing. I I guess it's the joy of creation. After that, I of course went to sleep, cause, uh, what the fuck? And I was eager to wake up again and try some. So we had to make the model quickly first, and I must be real, guys. 
This took longer than expected. I figured I could make it in a short time, but looking back at me, I'm stupid, dumb, fuckface, piece of shit, fat ass. And of course, all those combined made me leave this huge task for day two that was gonna be texturing. But it's okay, now it's a little bit of modeling too. I had this plan to make this dead mouse looking guy that had a suit on that was gonna be fun, but hint, hint, big mistake. I had a lot of interface problems, the vertices doubled somehow, and I didn't know how to fix that, and the suit ended up looking like fucking ass. Like, what is that limp dick looking ass color? So I did it again, and now it looked better. I made mean, it thicker with this solidify thing, and it looked like clothes. Would you look at that? Then I did the same thing with the pants and the shoes, and then I made the big head ball and added the face. That was a fucking. Yeah, this shit was hard. I don't know how it should work. Me, mama, mommy. But I got it done. I got it done. And the clock was uh, a million a.m. And then I fell asleep, knowing I had done some texturing luckily on the first day with the road and the monkey. But I have a model done, uh, although it looks like a preschool Christian game model. But that was a good thing, because I had a lot of critiques in the morning, because I kept seeing him in my nightmares. So, day three started with me sad. Let's say on a rut. Real depressed, because I didn't get anything done that I had to be done. It we're just starting out. You can't be that hard on yourself when you're starting out. And this time limit is quite a, a shit idea when you're learning something creative. But we'll roll with it. We just gotta... Burn back it down, never give up! And I wanna learn. I wanna learn fast. And I wanna learn by doing. And we did some doing. We fixed the model. We took the texturing part. Scrambled up in a fucking ball. LeBron James, that shit. And threw it in the trash can. We slap some placeholders in there and get to rigging. <laughs> rigging is actually fun and easy, until it isn't. Fuck you. So rigging consists of two parts. Making the rig with these bones and you just trace the model. It's kind of fun and... Uh, does the other hand have more bones? This is actually the footage of me finding out, but... I mean, who are you to judge? Maybe this character has like more bones on the right hand, okay, okay? So we did the head, the body, the limbs, and you might be asking, why didn't I mirror this? And uh, that's a good point, because uh, mirroring is good, but we got all fucky with the mirroring. Yeah, uh, shit is fucky, because my trust in the mirroring is not here anymore, and I know it's my dumbass's fault, but my dumbass has feelings, and I hate mirroring, why would you freaking do this to me? Why is it freaking on the leg? But after the final game, that was making the bones, we had weight painting. And I'm sorry for all the 3D modelers out there, but some of you might have shitted, cunned, and poor child vomited all over the screen. Because uh, people hate this shit. But I won't hate it, because I'm a professional Blender user. To be precise, I'm on this spot in the Donner Kruger curve. So <laughs> I know everything. So you just pick the bones and you paint what the bone wants to move. The red thing is what it moves and the blue thing is what it doesn't move. And it's pretty simple. Let's see how the model moves. Okay, for starters, the automatic weights are kind of all over the place. Especially for horribly constructed models. I don't know if that relates to our model. <laughs> the clothes clip and move, the face things don't fucking follow the whole thing and it's all fucky. Again, do we join them? Do we leave them be? I mean, let's try everything and see how it works. So we're done now. After this whole rigging thing, it's time to get into posing. So we take one of these and start At 
some point, you just gotta admit, shit is fucked. I have no idea how to fix this, my problems have snowballed and I'm completely lost. I am pretty much at the end point of this model's journey. I don't know how to fix this and the problems are so severe, I don't know how to google this. I wouldn't say this is a loss, I would just say this is a failure, a big failure that dented my fucking motivation so hard, I crippled up into a little ball and cried. But failures are natural, in creating stuff you fail every day. I'm happy with my model, although it's forever stuck in a team pose or a horrible amalgam pose. It's still a lot of progress, and you can't be shot down by a failure. I can already see my next model being greater than, than this. So, why don't we make another? One last model. Make it simple. Make it textured better. Make it poseable. So... Let's go! So starting off again with a basic human shape. We want to make that a little alien guy. Make the body, make the limbs, make the fingies, make the face with extruding like inwards, put some eyeballs in there, and voila! After a subdivision model, it looks kind of good! And slap on a texture that's actually unwrapped and we can draw on. We draw the nipples and I behaved myself, not drawing the ass crack. The nipples is good, and it really looks like something. Oh man, if you wanna have a, this model in a game called uh, The Man with the Black Nips, call me. I think it's just a little bit of finishing touches and voila! It's done. And I think we can make it dance. Ooh, 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 ooh. But I think I'm happy with it. I mean, it's a model. A model. Smile for the family picture.